All right then, so it's time to look at the beast that is the date picker now. So what we're going to be doing is creating a date picker so that a user can select a due date inside this form over here. Now this is the date picker right here and we can see the code for that right here as well. But we don't just want to take a date picker like this and just dump it in this form. That's going to look a bit stupid. Instead, what we like is a little date field that looks something like this. And when we click on that, then we see the date pop up this thing over here so that we can select a date. When we select one, then it goes away and that date is filled into the form field for the date. OK, so we want something a bit more like this thing down here. See where we click on this, the date pops up, not that one, maybe this one and we click on a date and then it fills it in right there okay so that's something that we want and notice as well that this is formatted with date fns we're going to be doing that as well this is a separate module that we can install so i'll show you how to do that later on so for now let's go ahead and start creating the code for this so let's think about this we want an input field and in fact let me scoot back over here to show you this an input field and when we click on it it shows content now, what does that look like? That to me looks like a menu because when we click on something over here, it shows content, right? So we can do the same kind of thing with this date picker, only the activator this time is not gonna be a button that says menu, it's gonna be a field like this. And when we click on it, it shows the content, which is this date picker. So let's go ahead and create a menu that does this. So. We'll do this below the text area, but above the button and we'll give ourselves some room so we don't mix it up with everything else. And we're going to create a V hyphen menu component. Now we'll come back to this in a minute because we're going to attach a V model to this, but I'll explain that later. First of all, inside it, we want the activator to be a text field, right? So we'll say V hyphen text hyphen field, and it's going to have a slot equal to activator. So when a user clicks on this text field, that's going to activate the pop up and that pop up is going to be the date picker. So we're not going to put a card down here anymore. Instead, what we're going to do is put a date picker. But first of all, let's give this a label. So we'll say label is equal to due date like so. And we'll also prepend an icon. So we'll say prepend icon. And this is going to be equal to date underscore range okay so save that and view this and we should see that input field if we go to add new project right here okay so it looks a bit squashed at the minute but we'll sort that out later on for now what i'd like to do is when we click on this to open that date menu so it's already been given a slot of activator all we need to do now is place the date picker underneath this now before we used a card this time we're using a date picker all it does is look at the adjacent element and open that. So we're going to use v hyphen date hyphen picker right here. That's the name of the component. And we're going to set this to be v hyphen model. And it's going to be equal to a property called due. So whatever a user picks right here, that is going to be stored in this property down here. So we need to make that, let's say due, and we'll set it to be null to begin with. Okay, so, so let's try this and see what happens so add new project due date that opens this up we click one of these and it closes that all works but we don't see the date here so it's not really worked we need to add that information to this input field so in order to do that we need to bind some data to the value of this field so we can say colon for binding data and then the value and that's going to be equal to due which is the property that updates when we pick a date right so let's save that and see what this looks like so over here click on that and click one of these and now it gets updated right there now what i'd like to do is format this a little differently i'd like it to be in the format of these things over here so to do that we're going to use another package called date fns so let's install it first of all i'm going to open up my console and i'm going to add a new one over here and I'm going to cd into the correct directory to do hyphen ninja. That's the project we're in. Then I'm going to say npm install date hyphen fns. So we use this package to format dates in different ways. 
Okay, so now that's installed, we can cross this off and down here import that. So we'll import and we want a function called format from and it's from date hyphen FNS forward slash format. So we're importing this format function now. Now down here, what I'm going to do is create a computed property to format the date. So we'll say computed and then inside we'll create a property called formatted date. And this is going to return an updated value based on this due value right here. So we'll say return this dot due and we're using a ternary operator to make sure this exists. So this is going to either be null, which is falsy, or an actual value, which is truthy. If it's truthy, it returns the thing on the left of the colon here. And if it's falsy, it returns the thing on the right of the colon. So we're just going to return an empty string if it's falsy, because that's all we want inside this field. If there's no date, an empty string. If there is a date and a user has selected something and updated this due value, then we're going to return an updated value, which will be this dot due, but formatted. So the way we do that is by using that format function that we imported up here. And we're going to use that to format the date. So we say format, then inside two parameters. The first parameter, the thing we want to format, which is this dot due, then a comma. The second parameter is this thing right here is a string which determines how it's going to format it. And there's loads of different strings you can use. If you want to learn more about it, just check out the date FNS website out. So I'm going to save that view this in a browser. And if we now select a date like 15, we still get that date. And that's because we've not updated this value. We now want to listen to this thing, the formatted date instead of the due property. So let's place that in there, save that. And now if we try this, now we can see this looks a bit better. Obviously, this is not working. So let's go down here and see what we've done. We've missed a Y off. So let's add that in, save it, try this once more. And now if we select this, it's looking pretty good. Awesome. Now, I want to add a spacer in so that these things aren't right next to each other. So let's come up here and underneath the menu, let's add a V hyphen spacer like so oops not in capitals so v hyphen spacer and that should look a little better cool awesome so this is all working now so now we've done that in the next video what i'd like to do is show you how we can validate our form a little bit using beautify